consent. And after the procedure, whether we have to continue? Three, four months, sir. Three, accordingly. Months. That you can judge accordingly, sir. Dr. Ratnavel? Yeah. See, regarding sebaceous is under it, uh, back uh, trunk, can we do the same thing? No, no, sir, no, sir, no, sir. I told you, sir, sebaceous is actually the sac has to be removed completely. Otherwise, it has to be cauterized. Okay. But in the back, if, if at all, if, uh, the sebaceous in the back is a bigger one. For that, we can enucleate. And after enucleation, you can use a little amount of phenol or you can use PCA for cauterizing the wall. Cautery in that area will produce a scar. But in the scrotum, since the skin is lax, you don't see a scar, sir. The result will be tremendous, sir. You can't expect that type of result in any other surgery. In a sebaceous scrotum, the result will be 100%. Cosmetically acceptable. In the back, the cosmetic acceptability will be low. Thank you. The same sebaceous cyst can be removed with an arrow hole technique, sir. Yes, sir. With the narrow hole technique, I think no need of putting any suture. Yeah, that, that we can use, sir. That we can use. We can press it. We can remove it. Yeah. Then we can cauterize it. That's, sir. That's yeah. also simple. Same technique, sir. Yeah, yeah. Sir, this is all which yeah. we do. We we get trained out from the patient side only. Yes, yeah, sir. Same way when you start, everything comes out like that. Oh. I will come on to the stage, sir. Thank you, sir. The doctor was asking about DPN, sir. DPN is very simple. It seems he had applied 5 fluoride for DPN. 5 fluoride not to be applied over the face. For the lips, you can apply 2 3 days. Once it ulcerates for a bit like a lip, with like a stable with like or unstable with like for a lip, you can definitely use 5 fluoride acyl 1 or 2 3, two, three days. Once it, it becomes painful, it becomes ulcerated, stop that. Right? For a DPN, DPN, what I normally tell is, don't go in for any acid application, don't go in for anything. Just go in for a radio frequency cauterization or carbon dioxide therapy or cauterization, plain cauterization. Don't ever try any acid or anything. Right? I think one of the doctors asked me that question. Yeah. It's simple like that, sir. How about syringomas on the face? How about? Syringomas. Ah, sir. Syringoma is one very difficult thing, sir. What normally I tell you is, if at all you want to have a cautery done, we have an electrolysis needle, not the regular cautery needle. Take that electrolysis needle, put it on the lesion, pierce it a little bit, just to burn 5 to 6 joules, very low amount. Ask the patient to come after 3 months, again do it. Ask the patient to come after 6 months, again do it. Ask the patient to come after 1 year, again do it. Three, four sittings, definitely it will go. Only thing, don't overburn. Just a mild uh, electrolysis needle, no sir. Just pierce it inside, burn it five to six joules. Just there will be small amount of something like a popcorn formation. Leave it off like that, everything will fall off. The best treatment will be a derm abrasion. Again, I told you derm abrasion over the face. You can't have a pigmentation retained. Uh, what was before, you can't retain it back. So don't do it. So what about uh, removal of hair from the eyelashes, sir? What about? Hair removal from eyelashes. Sir, hair removal from eyelashes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sir, one, we can go in for diode laser. Diode, sir. Diode, diode. Sir. The diode is not present, sir. Diode, I am using diode only, sir. Diode is the best laser for hair removal. One, post-inflammatory complications are very, very low. The results will be very, very good. Very good in the sense, diode laser, monthly once, five continuous months, and then yearly once will stop the hair growth. But all other lasers, it won't be specific. The wavelength of a diode is in and around 800, which will be very specific for that hair root. So what, how do you protect the eye when you're using a diode laser for the eye? No, sir, you see, the diode probe, sir, is just this much. Sir. You want to have the eyebrow removed on the upper side, just cover it with the gas, just burn it like that. You want eyelashes, sir. Eyelashes. This one? Yeah, eyelashes. You want to remove the eyelashes? Yeah, eyelashes, sir. That you have to pluck only, sir. No, pluck with eye. We can't remove the roots, sir. No, you have to pluck. If you grow again, you have to pluck. You can't do anything. I thought of eyebrow, sorry. No, sir. The same thing I wanted to share my experience. Don't do electrolysis for an eyelash. It will form a scar. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. In which case... You have to pluck, sir. 
we have a plucker we can pluck it but repeatedly we are getting it sir so only sir sir are all patients come repeated only sir so only all are flourishing all dermatologists are going to flourish because we are not able to cure anything you can cure i can cure anybody can sir, cure sir no problem sir we i am dermatologist only i am from karnataka i want my patients repeatedly to come <laughs> but the thing is that when the eye, the hair lash, eyelashes, hair, and they get yeah. turned up, they cause irritation to the eye. That's the most. Sir, you have to pluck only, sir. Don't ever try anything. We tried lots of things. Sir. Ended up with failure. Sir. Once I tell that, practical experience, don't do that. So for, for two of the patients, sir, I have done radio frequency, sir. Ah, sir, don't do that, sir. Sir, sometimes, I have done, sir. Sometimes, if at all a scar forms, no, he will go inside. Sir, you see, this is the one area where we have to be careful. I told you. we have to be careful 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 tell him that you are going to do a laser pluck it no problem but don't do a harm for th that was an optimist doctor only himself <laughs> so he suggested for like what the solution no, we are no, no, no sir no no oh. no please don't do sir sir that should not be a wrong message from a conference that should be only correct messages if at all we are we, are, we can do something good correct don't do anything bad That That's in a cosmetology. We can't answer them back. Doctor Ratna, what is your experience regarding phenol injections in sebaceous cysts? Have you tried? Sir, again a chemical cauterization. What I told you, electric cauterization. Sir, what I do, sir, in any sebaceous cyst, I inoculate. I put phenol or trichloracetic acid. I showed you trichloracetic acid in ingrowing toenail, sir. Same way, I put a probe. I put an earbud into the sebaceous cyst, char it, see that it turns into brown in color. neutralize it then put a suture that will be very nice there won't be any recurrence here only we get differentiated from our uh, surgical colleagues sir they remove they put a suture again it recurs we have to cauterize i okay. can't bend the uh, patient side okay thank you see that ama ulla podma Go inside. Go inside. Uh huh. Go inside. Press the lesion. Press, press. Ah, the mucus thing is coming out. You just press, and then again cauterize. Everything is going off. I see that material comes out. Again burn it. That's it. I thought it's all a simple procedure. Ma, you are not to do that. Sharp needle onto the lesion, not the blunt portion there. That's it. Good, good. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. Yes, sir. Uh, treatment for double chin, sir. Treatment for double chin, phosphatidyl choline. Huh? Uh, which uh, modality is better? Treatment for double for chin, sir. What are you asking, sir? Treatment for double chin. Double chin. Double chin. Sir, double chin. One, you can use Botox. Two, you can use tightness. The phosphatidyl choline won't be of help there, sir. Phosphatidyl choline only will be of help in all tightenings. It won't be of help in double chin. Double chin is due to a contra contraction of one particular muscle. you paralyze everything goes in but again it will come up it's not a permanent cure again it will come up again again you can do it so you are telling botox botox how oh, oh, sir how many units sir you see i told you no anything below the eyelid two units anything above the eyelid four units so i mean you mean to say two units that's why i am telling sir sir this is a general principle why i am telling this is wherever there is a facial nerve supply facial nerve is coming you see earlier we used to do eight elashma will go with their topical management black melashma will not go with any management it's so simple like that sir black melashma will not go with anything what i am doing now is i do a mild uh, q switch tendy sir the melanocytes are ruptured at least 50 to 60 percentage improvement occurs then uh, give a little amount of hydroquinone go with it so you said you can uh, use the autologous fats on the gluteal area yeah. to be used as a filler 
how do you operate the autologous uh, or op